motherfucker! That mute asshole, that fucking snake without a tongue, gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip. I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world. Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Carl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name, and for once, I try to make something work, this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh. That's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here, it's fantastic. Oh. Yeah, uh, all right. But how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Oh, man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit. But the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Basin. Hey man, how you Hi everybody, doing? welcome to a new video. Met them at the 89th year of love in, apparently. Apparently. You know how it is, man. A field of tents, crazy ass music, a quart of mescaline vodka, polar bears. Polar bears? Yeah, go figure. But they were funny guys, man. Great sense of humor. Uh, yeah, so welcome to a new video. I actually started this um, mission by accident. I meant to save the game and walk into the marker instead. So, here we are, starting another video off. And uh, we're gonna go pick up these, these uh, mechanics who... Uh, if you watch my Grand Theft Auto Vice City video or just played Vice City, uh, you recognize him as from the boatyard when Tommy Versetti buys the um, oh cool uh, where Tommy Versetti buys the boatyard you see the two guys in the boat you know smoking weed or doing whatever they're doing yowza so yeah one you know a nice way for them to um, tie in the games a little bit you can see they were definitely creating a universe here. Nang boys, shining razors, butterfly children. Watch yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. Hey, Jethro. Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth Dude. Oh, man. Do, do I owe you? Cause I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man, we're good. I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District. West of here. Yeah. You sick? No. The government is. But that's a long story. So, you know, like, what's the deal, dudes? I'm opening the garage in Doherty by the waste ground. You know, car mods, low riders, all that shit. You down? Do polar bears shit in the woods? No, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent, if I remember it right. Yeah, that was like, so far gone, man. I guess part of this is still closed off. Stop 
So anybody ever been to um, San Francisco in real life, or LA, or California in general? I've never actually been to uh, the West Coast. I think in a previous video I talked about going to a few different states, but yeah, I've never been to California. One day though, one day. We'll be here for See what's going on here. Nothing. Oh, don't look. Cover your faces. Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping again. Shh. Okay. I've seen enough. Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings. Come on, dude. What's all that about? You don't want to know. Why? Do you know what a subdermal neurophone is? A what? Exactly. Sometimes it's best to stay in the dark, kid. Dude, Dwayne, man, how's the hot dog business? It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got like some shit to take care of first, though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Doherty. I'll see y'all later. Okay, next stop, cop station downtown. What? You watch your mom. Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, okay. But you're starting to freak me out with all that spaceship, man. Pretty city. Well, you know, pretty deep, this version of it. I'm sure it looks nice in real life. I have, I have a friend of mine, he actually went to college in San Francisco. He said it was cool. Right now, this is the only way I get to see it. Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. Picture a pink golf ball in your mind. Okay, we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. He could fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Let's go introduce you to him. Look, what's going on, True? Who was him do? Don't go there, man. Listen to Jethro. Now what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janis Joplin. And the only reason we've been in a Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake-headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro dot. Good. Keep it that way. Well, the moon thing I've heard. I mean, that, that's been like one of the more popular uh, conspiracy theories I've heard. You know, there was all you know, staged and it was just a setup and... You know, we just did it to intimidate the Russians, but uh, I believe we went up there. I mean, we launched these rockets into space. Like, we've seen the astronauts, you know, getting onto the shuttles. I mean, granted, all mostly on television, but I'm sure there are thousands of people present at the actual space centers when they send these people up. I don't know. I'm willing to believe some, you know, theories, but uh, I'm pretty sure we've been in space. <laughs> Why would, you know, well, I know why we'd fake going to the moon back then, but I'm sure we've been there. Leave me alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, hey, Truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. Carl, zero. Zero, Carl. What's up? Carl here is opening a garage around the corner. I told him you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. 
<laughs> Actually, I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A tip-top genius, that's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. See some of my shit, bro. I'll do that. Who you call him, bro? <laughs> uh. Ah, he's here. Okay, we here. A week of hard work, and we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man. Dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot. Property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is going to get on its feet. And when it does, we are going to have money. If you want to make something of yourself, you got to let your money work for you. Look. I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, okay? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> Man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. <laughs> All right, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I got quite a bit of money going on. Good for me. All right, since I already started that mission, let's start the next one. Keep this property thing moving. Whoa. Hey, girlfriend. Yeah, what? Sorry, Carl, are you busy? Zero? Nah, man, good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, uh, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. Yeah, I'll swing by there later. I want to get moving with this. Oh, I remember this. Carl, how San Fierro? It's fucked up. I can honestly say I wish you was here. Great. Now you got the present for that friend of mine, right? You know, the one trying to get me and old Officer Pulaski into trouble? Yeah. Why don't you put that up in his car and give Wee Tip a call? Hey, motherfucker, the code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't give a fuck if it kills you, me, my brother. Street cats don't call no cops. Carl, he's a DA. Oh, yeah? Well, where I go find him? He's at the Van Kauf Hotel in the financial. Oh, for sure. Now it's okay? That's too funny. Get off! This, is, this introduces another side job. Well, you'll see in a minute. Pretty cool. You a professional moron? Ooh. Or just a gift and amateur? Man, CJ talks a lot of nonsense. I gotta use that line. You a professional moron or a gifted amateur? <laughs> ah. At least he follows the law. I've been to places where they valet park the cars like... I don't know what they think they're doing. Yeah, 
This ain't gonna be pretty. Ah, you so kind. Mr. T, valet driver. Ha! Ah, you must be the new boy. Get in line. New boy? Man. I can barely see the thing. I'm supposed to remember that? You better give me a better look at it. Looks like it, right? Blue, it's a merit. That, no, nah, I don't think it's a DA. Yo, who's your artist, man? That's Shower Cap? That's appropriate for this weather, anyway. For nothing, but I I don't usually valet park my car wherever I go. I'd rather just park it myself. I mean, just handing your keys over to some stranger. No dings. Watch the loafers. I think this is it. I cannot bear myself in any way. All right, this is time, but I, I think you can't uh, mess up the car either. So you gotta be real careful. I think on the way it's okay because they'll fix it, but on the, on the way back, forget it. And everybody knows how much I love time missions. Love time missions. Once they fix it, that's it. I gotta be real careful. Without health care, who are genuine. Hey, you want me to get out of the car? No! No, no, no. Darn it. This is where this game gets cheesy. You know, really. I'm sitting there trying to be careful. Let's try this again. Take the heat. Get out of the new... What? All right. Um, I'm just gonna stop the mission right here. I'm sorry guys, I tried. That, oh man, very frustrating. 
All right, so I'll. Hey Caesar, what up? I got the lowdown on smokes, yay! Where it is every Monday and Friday, the cash leaves Los Santos for San Fierro. Then every Wednesday and Saturday, a courier takes the yay back to Big Smoke. Okay, I keep an eye out for him. See if I can't spoil they little party. All right, man. Yeah, so I'm gonna end the video here. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but next video, you know where I'm gonna pick up at the end of that mission. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.